What's up, you guys? Coming back at you all with another Commander Tips video. Yet again, voted on by my patrons. It was really close, so I decided to go with one that maybe not a lot of people know about, and that is Mero Nar, the Rat Commander of choice. He synergizes perfectly with the tribe. Five mana, mono black, two three, legendary Rat Rogue. All rats have fear, so can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and by creatures that are also black, which is pretty good if you get a lot of rats out there. This can be a win con. But the real cool thing about him is kind of like Krenko has a tap ability and gives you a whole bunch of rats. You sacrifice a rat first to put X11 rat creature tokens into play where X is the number of rats you control. Seeing as you only have to sacrifice one rat, you can just keep growing your army. Now if we're going to talk about combos, the one that really comes to mind is going to be Thornbite Staff. You don't really have to worry about the activated ability it gives Maronar, but rather whenever a creature is put into a graveyard from play, untap this creature. Since Maronar's ability doesn't cost any mana, you don't really have to worry about anything else. You can just tap it, sacrifice a rat. A creature is technically going to be put into a graveyard from play, and then you untap your Maronar. So you can get infinite rats right there. If you have anything that can go off and win with that, you should be in a good position. Another strategy that a lot of people like to go with for this deck is going to be the rat colony slash relentless rat strategy and the main reason why they would want to go with something like that is for using thrumming stone to ripple them out there quicker because all your spells are going to have ripple four doesn't really matter in literally any other kind of commander deck except for maybe shadowborn apostle getting more of those rats out there that are really dependent on the total number of other rats you have is going to make combat a lot easier especially if they have fear with maronar so that's definitely a strategy that people like to go with for this kind of deck. And it makes sense if you're going to go with Rat Tribal and you're going to do that Relentless Rats trick, why not do it with Maronar? But other than that though, it's pretty much your basic tribal synergies. You have things like Metallic Mimic, Herald's Horn, Kindred Dominance. These are cards that aren't necessarily rat specific, but just tribal synergistic. So these things are also going to be good inclusions for this type of deck because you get to work around rats. The main downside to playing a deck like Rat Tribal is that there are very few things that just synergize with rats. It's a very basic tribe. So you see a lot of these cheap rats that do different things. They might have good keywords, but it's not like they're going to work well with rats specifically, other than the fact that they're rats themselves, which is probably the main reason why I've always wanted some more rat tribal support, because we only have so much of it. The rest of the deck is going to be mono black good stuff, really, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Mono black is pretty good in Commander. You also have access to other good tribal cards like Patriarch's Bidding. Can't forget about Plague of Vermin. These are definitely going to add to the flavor of the deck, but I can't help but feeling like we need a lot more for this tribe to really excel. So who knows, in the next commander set, they might give it to us. Probably not, but I can only hope. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about Mero Nar. I think he is a delight. You guys have a wonderful day. Void here signing off. See you all next video.